sijui kama nimeambiwa vizuri something about me with legs sasa ni kuehoka and and we are just talking about sufurias na ushai sikia ukiuliza dari ametumia sufuria chai outside forces are talking from outside at twitter for facebook watch my for channel on twitter hashtag is what in the morning please surround yourself with people who make you happy thank you yeah karibu ni sana mtu val or at kalami vans that time for our conversation have you even gone to our social media pages aki nani si wende to our twitter for facebook what for channel on twitter we have a question and we are trying to figure out what is happening in this here 254 hashtag is why the money but let the panelists introduce themselves first mm -hmm. good morning good morning how are you guys kind of machi machi did you have a conversation um i think the matching is more to this direction really this direction okay maybe oh, color blind uh, have a Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> we have not even just introduced yourself, sir. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm um, Daniel Odiambo, um, a.k.a. Odis. I had to put that somewhere. Uh, my social media handles, Dan, Dan Othis on Instagram mm -hmm. and uh, Daniel Otis Othis on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So far, he's a Tundio mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Karibu sana. Tukuite nani? Dan ama Othis ama Othis? Othis. Othis. Ah, Othis. Eh, Othis. Othis. Otaki Othis. Yani kina mama Othis. Otis. Any relation to Flaco? I Not at all. Anyway, Tumenda is wrong side. I am Berlin. Welcome back. Please introduce yourself. And you're getting younger every time I see you. And we're about to finish 2020. What is the secret, please? Mm, it is a weakness. I ah. don't know how to take care of it. It is not transferable. <laughs> 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 I, I like that she's claimed that blessing. It is what it is. Amen. It is what it is. So guys, we're talking about what's been going on in, in a nutshell. If either let me rephrase this eh? ever since the COVID-19 pandemic took over a lot has gone south a lot has gone upside down I, I, I'm sure there have been some silver linings for some people I guess selling sanitizer whatever or something but generally it's, it's been a bit of a mess we've had so many people lose their jobs we've had that means breadwinners are not taking you know uh, food home or any other resources that means schools were also closed so no one is going to school until the recent past so I want to put all these things into factor before we start <coughs> trying to internalize why we have underage children drinking random places or drinking with people who are a lot older than they are and engaging in things that are considered I, I don't even have a proper diplomatic word for it but not so good okay. yes so what do you think is going on? Berlin, can I start with you? Mm, well, one thing that I think we must agree on, that there's a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where the problem is coming from, maybe that's what we should be discussing, and the factors contributing towards it. Yeah, since the period of this COVID-19, a lot of things are happening, and most of the time there are no good news, eh? mm -hmm. especially to our children. So one thing that we must accept, that there's a problem. Once we accept there's a problem, then we may be able to solve it. Yes, yes. and while talking about the problem, mm -hmm. I would like us to put COVID-19 out of the picture first. Why? Because mm. um, this is not something that started in February this year. Mm -hmm. The teenagers or whichever age bracket you're looking at here, being arrested and all that, it's something that has been there for, mm -hmm. for quite a long time. And um, being that, being that uh, COVID-19 came around and messed up a lot of things, mm -hmm. doesn't have to make it, look, make it be the main reason why these things are happening. Remember, COVID-19 has been there, yes? And um, other people have been still responsible with their needs, even amidst all that. So I would like, yes, it's a factor, but not the main factor. Mm -hmm. So in my, in my opinion, yes, there's a problem, mm -hmm. but the problem could go deeper than we think. So do we say that COVID-19 is maybe, it is good news to us because it has now exposed something that has been undergoing for some time. So I as much as it's also killing people and also causing some things, but to some extent it has also made us to understand ourselves better. 
these are things that have been happening. Yeah, I think so because if if um, there's a time during those first first times when COVID was the thing and everyone was afraid of everything and <laughs> in, in, uh, even in fact making a step out of out of your house was such a big deal because you would be like the next time Kago is speaking is announcing 30 more people and you're like what it's mm -hmm. just outside the door you know those times there's someone who came when the schools when the schools were closed and all there's someone who came out and spoke spoke about uh, what had two two kids very young like I think one was 12 and the other one was around 15 mm -hmm. were doing a boy and a girl in the house so I was like in as much as this thing is um, kind of not not uh, a good thing it's exposing what the loopholes in uh, in the society in mm -hmm. as much as values and um, and cultural differences are concerned mm -hmm. because now you see if someone failed somewhere during their parenting period or rather when you saw when I say manga, mumunye haliaribiki ukubwani. Kama hali kuchengezo likuwa likuwa ndogo bado. Valo acha kucheka. No, I, I like the depth. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> yes, um, like when if it's cultured while still while still at its initial growing stages, eh, it will definitely not go bad when it grows. So this thing came and it kind of squeezed the the nini the vices out of us mm -hmm. because someone else said you never know you have something until it's squeezed out of you like when you have a cloth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you do that sometimes you can even do this and don't see anything but now when you do this like that's how you know there's water there why as you can see okay you can't see it but our question is squeezy all we hear is teenagers arrested in house parties smoking and drinking all right and ah i have a question and since since it still falls under the same age bracket they're teenagers they're underage i have just seen a video of a couple of girls from uh, i don't know i think it's a high school but they look so young so i don't know i think it's class eight or something now on uniform and it's very recent and they're about to go on strike because their teachers are forcing them to have sex in their bathrooms so if that is going on in school so what am I supposed to expect is going to happen outside? Okay, I think uh, a lot of exposure. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, uh, I know my rights. Mm -hmm. You know, nowadays, you cannot even kill your own, own, your own child. Mm -hmm. If you do, you tell that she or he knows her rights, and it attack mm -hmm. speedy sana. So sometimes I think it is also poor parenting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On whose part? You hear they are being forcefully, you know, in school. Yeah, if you got it right from the beginning, uh -huh. it's very hard to come uh, to raise your hand against your teacher, uh -huh. or even to talk bad about him uh -huh. or her. But no. because you find your your mother talking about the same teacher, talking about your leaders, so it is just, it's from the it's from home. So in this in this case, I actually think the problem is not even the kids. Mm. The problem is means the teachers. If I am getting your analogy right, I'd like to because believe someone who is an adult who is over eighteen yes. should not be soliciting sexual yes. favors from someone I, who is and underage. I, and I actually think that that is actually the the big the big deal here because if that if yeah. if i am constantly being harassed by mwalimu at nimpe alafu ni talk nje what what do you think i'm going to do <laughs> go for church camp no really in i might fact, as well just know, do these know, things you know if if um if a, if that happens in school mm -hmm. do you know the, the message it sends is like actually this is is, is uh, the right thing i just don't want to do it to this guy mm -hmm. or this person mm -hmm. you see so when they go outside what do they do mm -hmm. they make it uh they now make it a life's mission mm -hmm. like it's been already justified from wherever they came from you know mm -hmm. so um that in 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 some part because the teachers who are doing this will say they also have a problem with their background or something it's either um, while they grow evil or rather they grew and then at some point they got exposed to some wrong things or mm -hmm. some funny weird things or the same way people say like um there are times when someone wants something and they're not thinking using their brains mm -hmm. the only thing that is thinking 
is what they want. So what happens? <laughs> What happens is that at that particular moment, mm -hmm. there's no much they can reason. There's no much reasoning they can do. Mm -hmm. So for for the girls that are in school, they are already being give, sent a message that actually this is uh, is just fine. I'm your teacher. I'm asking you for this. So where you are ikopoa, you are out of kuza shule and that. Then after that, wa wakitoka wanajua ah. When I'm not my sponsor, so because now it's for them to decide who they want to do it with or whatever. But back in those days, mm -hmm. when such a thing happens, our kids would run back to their parents mm -hmm. and say, you know, mommy, teacher so-and-so is doing this to me. Mm -hmm. So who told them that there's also this protest where they walk along, they say, Akietu, Akietu, where did they get this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we are also exposing our kids into some wrong teachings that's not helping them. A lot would of, you rather much of this do? technology, watching things mm -hmm. from our internet, is also a cause to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because those days I would go and tell my father, you know, teacher so and so uh, touched my. Uh, uh, uh. And uh, my father would go back to school and uh, I think they would get disciplined. Mm -hmm. But this is a case whereby it is the same teacher protecting their. The, their colleagues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they, who told these kids that they, they should go on the streets? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is things that are learning from our leaders, from our parents. Eh? When something goes wrong, you don't really need to reason out. What you do is yell out, go and start protesting. Mm -hmm. And this, I think, I blame our political leaders, the political class. I have had a couple of guests come, and a lot of them have been. I want to say philanthropists of some sort. So they have either a charity organization or they have random drives, you know, to provide simple things like sanitary towels and all these things. So we have, we have had cases rise up, or this was very new to me because I did not know. A young girl, Aneza Kosa Pesa, is a sanitary towel or anything, you know, pro-hygiene related. And since maybe kwao hawana ama kwao haezi uliza atenda kwa mtu mwingine alafu sasa huu mtu mwenye anaenda kumuliza na mwambia fanye hivi twende hii bash alafu unipe alafu ndo kubaya vitu and that's how we have attributed to the very <laughs> we arasna jina the first <laughs> very fast rising cases of teenage pregnancy so it's I, I, I don't want to point fingers. I want to see is are these things in society the reason why our teenagers are going out to have fun? Yeah, first of all, first of all, there's um, we have to admit, eh, as time is going and as um, technology is coming and taking the place of other things and things are changing, you know, the the height of moral decadence is also going taking a, a different. Is it different something we, we can fix? Is there something as a, as a society? Because yeah, it takes it a village. It's, it's, uh -huh. it's I think on that time, I think I blame the government. Because <laughs> instead of providing free condom, why don't they provide this free, whatever, sanitary towels? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y you know, you have, you, have to, you have to use it. But condom is a choice. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think uh, we are no, pointing okay. towards the government. Mm -hmm. I think oh, the government... You're telling them, go this way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know... Well, the, the, the government has their own part to play. I used to see these things everywhere. Like, um, okay, so we you just go sweet. ahead do your stuff. Hmm. But just make sure there's this thing in the picture. So Apple, they also did their part. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 I was looking at this from this angle. You know, um, yes, times are changing and um, things are, are, really, are taking different turns as we go by. So, and it's it's... Sometimes it's almost next to unpredictable. Like who knew Gangeton would come in like in like a very short time and become a very very strong genre in, in Kenya mm -hmm. as far as music is concerned. Mm -hmm. And now when these things step into the mix, mm -hmm. th my friend, I'm telling you, in, in as much as many people might agree with me or not, um, it has also really it has also propagated this to, to to a very bad extent because you know the picture you are sending the picture you are sending through the music videos mm -hmm. and the picture you are sending through the words you you sing and saying mm -hmm. it's all about sex and 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 ob objectifying ladies and all kinds sorts of things because me si juu ma demo ngapo mefanya genga iton na okay wako but 
if you look at whatever they are singing about, it's now they are receiving what they are being thrown at by the, the guys who are doing that. Mm -hmm. Who allows so, them to do this? Yes. So you this see, the regulation. You see, the regulations are there. Okay. But now, <laughs> the problem is, the regulations may be there. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, um, the government does not have the muscle mm -hmm. to come picking artists one by one and telling them, if you do this, we are, we are joining you right now. Mm -hmm. They have tried that. Mm -hmm. They have done it. Mutua has been, has been victimized a lot for trying to, to, nini, to cap that a little bit, you see. Mm -hmm. But my, where I'm coming at with all this is, you see, in as much as uh, times are changing and all, mm -hmm. where you are brought up and how you are brought up really determines how, how you will budge when the, time, when the test for, you, for your time comes. Mm -hmm. Because, for instance, if your, if your parents were, was, were, were moderately strict, like they allowed you to access information, but in a good way, you see? Mm -hmm. And also allowed to, make, to do things that um, are beneficial to you and point you towards the right direction in a very, very, very sober way. Trust me, even if these things come to you in, um, in a 3D or 7D form, <laughs> you'll be able to say, no, ah, me, upper. in fact, you won't even be struggling to be like, ah, I can't, I can't, or whatever. Like, it's just not part of you. Mm -hmm. Because what you have seen, what you have learned, is totally different. So that even when the government is coming in, they are not coming in with new information, like, ah, don't do this. And then you're like, me, I grew up seeing, seeing these things happen. So what is the problem with it? And that's now when the government is saying, we will arrest those people who are doing videos that look a certain way, it's a shock to, to most of the young people. Because to them, it's not quite in any big deal. Like, what, what, you know what's, the problem? what's the big deal? The because now when you grow a Kiona, it's like, this is just normal. But for someone who's brought up in a, in a properly cultured environment, and they understand the values that are there in the society, Trust me, they may not really budge so easily. Then you know the problem is, yeah. most of our parents nowadays, especially I think I blame the male parents, our fathers, they shy away from their responsibility, and that forces our mothers also to follow them. Now they come up with something like what a man can do, a woman can do it better. So when these people leave the house early in the morning, as in five, to beat the Nairobi jam, mother is out, father is out, watoto wameachu wapona, maid. Who will tell them all these things? Because the, uh, Baba na kwambia, I'll pay the rent, you'll pay the school fees. So the mother has to struggle. Mm -hmm. But in the beginning, it was not so. So the best thing to a woman, a woman should stay back at home and manage businesses, family business, so that he has, she has time with the kids to tell them. You know, now what you're, talking about, what you're talking about is something Poor that parenting. might have happened in, um, let's say, mm -hmm. 30, 40 years ago. Eh? Excuse me. Hi, he's actually live on air. Stop stressing the gentleman. <laughs> We sorry, have confirmed. Sorry for that. <laughs> At White Five sorry for Facebook, that. White Five channel, Twitter hashtag this one in the morning. Yeah, it's live. Yes. Yes. Are we uh, together? Yes. And I was saying, <laughs> um, you see, whatever Belen is talking about uh, mm -hmm. is something that could have happened very easily. Mm. Maybe 30, 40 years ago mm -hmm. or 20 years ago. You know why I'm saying this? Mm. Because with all this empowerment that has been coming specifically to the ladies, mm -hmm. with all this empowerment and um, and uh, what the, this kind of sort of competition, quote unquote, eh, mm -hmm. because uh, it's not more of competition, but with that kind of a thing coming, showing up all through, it's um, next to impossible for any for like it's next to impossible impossible for like whatever you're saying, a lady, mm -hmm. a wife. Mm -hmm. Nowadays we don't have housewives actually, because most of if you stay at home, mm -hmm. it's looked as um, it's being seen as being infuriated. Mm. You see, Juwewe, you're not allowed to, to work, you're not allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do this, you're just a housewife. So the translation thereof is not you are not, you're being there so that you can help with raising the kids. The translation is you are there because you are inferior to the guy, so you need to, to like, just be there and do whatever you, you are meant to do. Uh, so if, if in a household there is, let's say, husband and wife and child, and child significantly older, like 15 years old, so that yes. means when they're busy doing their dance of who, is, who has more powers in the house, mm -hmm. that's what you're saying? Yes. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. 
All right. And we did, you did also state that it is important we understand the biology of, of uh, adolescent at easy. Adolescence. There's, there's a lot going. Your, your mind is forming, the hormones surging everywhere. And I think I remember, it's been a minute, but I think I remember how, how it felt. And being reasoned with was not easy, you know. I knew what I knew and I wanted to not really fight authority but I wanted to be respected I had to I wanted to have a voice especially when it came to deciding things about me I want to go out no why I don't want you to go out it's late and you don't know what's going to happen but I'm the one who wants to go out so why won't you let me have it and usually it ended with no yes. <laughs> I did not have conversations with my mom at AO, I sit in the corner, no, 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 no. It was just no, it was just yes. So with that still in mind, are we still going to say something about these teenagers? So you already know things are going on. They're not going to school, they're bored. And now they are trying to kuna kuvutana flani with their caregivers. Mm -hmm. So now what do we do? Okay, I think, well, what I would say, mm -hmm. You know, when, when in the process of your growth, huh? yes, there are those things you get from your environment, cognitive skills, uh -huh. uh, and there are those things that um, you bring, you, you, you learn by yourself, you see? And then in the process of growth, there's maturity that comes in, you see? So to me, uh, a, a, a kid who is um, between 14 to 18 years, that is someone that um, they, they, have, they have the ability. That one is actually not a kid. Because at that time, this is someone who knows, who knows whether through the parents or through the media or social media or wherever. Or the streets. Or the streets. <laughs> this is someone that knows <laughs> this done causes this. <laughs> this not done causes this. <laughs> and if they still go ahead to do it, <laughs> whether they were told or not, you see, because the, the, the age at this time is the age that allows you to, to have an open mind. Eh? But I don't think the consequences for them are as tangible. Mm. The, I, I feel like the desire to do outweighs the, the thought of ayakuna consequences. Like, when you're 18, like in a fanyika. Mm -hmm. But it, it's not really considered. If it's not, if I go to this house party and I only know like three people, and we're going to hang out in someone's house who's over 40 years old, at Umjui, my parents don't know who this person is. They have never been around my neighborhood. By the time you give, I have confidence enough to do something like that. I don't think the consequences is real. Where Apu Nafkira maybe kulewa at most ama sijui. I don't know what you're thinking about, but. You could disappear, Nani. You could. You yeah, but uh, okay. before Nini, before we go there, mm -hmm. we have to accept that whatever you feed your mind with, whether in the house, through media, it it it, it really plays a very big role here. Because even if I